What's up, guys? This is Roat from Covers here with a few of my favorite betting picks for week 10 of the CFL season this week. Uh, earlier this week on the Ches and Row show, me and Ches talked about how much we like the Alouettes as an underdog at plus 11 and a half at the time. That line shrunk all the way to plus nine before kickoff last night. Owls, of course, not only covered, ended up upsetting the Bombers in overtime. So hopefully we can bring you a few more good plays this weekend. Let's start off with a game tonight between the Ticats and the Argos. Uh, Ticats have really struggled this season. They're kind of the opposite of the Blue Bombers. They're constantly crumbling in the clutch constantly giving the ball away, all those things that you simply can't win games with. Uh, they lost last weekend against the Argonauts, and it was kind of the same story. They were tied right until the fourth quarter and then just gave the game away with a punt block that was returned for a touchdown and a pick six. Uh, on the whole, I was kind of leaning towards maybe the Ticats in a revenge spot. Uh, they opened this week at minus 2.5, uh, but now that uh, spread has jumped the fence at certain books, seeing so a half a point the other way, although you can still get the Argos as a slim underdog as well. Big reason for that, of course, is Ticat's starting quarterback, Dane Evans, is likely out for the game with an injury to his shoulder. That means Matt Schiltz is going to be in there. Uh, personally, I think this is enough to uh, to fade the Ticats. I was already considering fading them, considering how they played the season. And now when you add that they're down to their second string quarterback, I like the Argos here. Moving on over to the games on Saturday, starting off with the BC Lions against the Calgary Stampeders. Hopefully you caught this line movement because earlier in the week, me and Chez were talking about being in on the Lions. It was sitting about minus 1.5 on Tuesday. Right now it's at minus 3 at most books, although you can still get it at minus 2.5 at certain books, including Bet365. That would be my advice in this one. Take that before you get to that key number of 3. I do like the Lions here. Nathan Rourke has been pretty much unstoppable on offense, but on the other side of the ball, the Lions have been fantastic in terms of pass defense. Bo Levi Mitchell for the Stampeders is a proven winner at quarterback, but he's been a little bit inconsistent this year, and I think their secondary is going to suffer after losing their best cover man, Trey Roberson, to a season-ending injury. So I like the Lions here. I would still like them at minus 2.5. Anything up 3 and above, I'd probably steer clear of. Final play for the weekend, we've got the Rough Riders taking on the Elks. Uh, Rough Riders open as 4.5-point road faves, sitting at minus 5.5 right now. I still like them at minus 5.5. You're starting to see this line creep even higher at certain books. Uh, frankly, the Rough Riders haven't been that impressive. Uh, three straight losses, they're really banged up at the moment, but they're still a lot better on paper than the Elks. The Elks are bad on offense, and they're historically bad on defense, pretty much at the bottom of the league in every defensive metric. I don't see a way where the Elks win this one. Covering the spread is certainly not uh, going to be easy for the Riders, who have a, a bunch of losses over the last month, but they are coming off a of bye week, and I think they'll get their heads on straight in this one, especially with that strong running game. So there you have it, guys. Those are my three plays for the rest of the week. Best of luck, and don't forget to tune in next Tuesday, where we hopefully have Chez back for the Chez and Rose Show.